I'll get your big stool and you can help me do the washing up. Hey, hey guys. Hi guys, welcome to our nighttime routine. It is almost five o'clock. This is pretty much when I start the nighttime routine and I include dinner in that prep. Let me roll your sleeves up. Now this seems really counterproductive to be cleaning the kitchen before making dinner. I really enjoy cooking and a part of that is cooking in a clean space and like a clean kitchen. This is half like things we've used today, half toys because he's loving washing up at the moment as like play. So I usually just like organize the kitchen and just like clear the space before I start cooking. I'm loving myself today because I have the slow cooker out. I just kind of made up my own recipe. I usually put red wine in it, which makes it taste so good, but I pretty much had like nothing in the cupboard. So this is, it's called Osso Buco. I probably say it wrong, but it's such a great meat to do in the slow cooker. Oh. I'll probably just do it with like either some rice or some pasta. Pasta! Pasta! Do we want rice or pasta? No. Pa you want pasta? Yes. Pasta's not really gonna match with what we're doing, but yes. you want pasta. Okay, well, I guess we're doing pasta. So yeah, this is gonna be a very realistic nighttime routine. I feel like gone are the days of the aesthetic YouTube. My morning routine. First I wake up and I journal. I get it. Some people actually do that. I don't. Our nights, you'll see, <laughs> they're not very relaxing. They're kind of chaotic. A big chunk of our night is yeah. our... Don't, don't wake yourself though. What is this in here? <laughs> do we need to wash him? Yeah. We get very, very silly in the afternoon. Like it's coming close to their bedtime. They're hungry. No, don't. Hey, hey, hey. Fox, look at me. If you're silly, I have to turn the water off. Okay, you want water on? Yeah. Be sensible and calm and happy. You want to take your jumper off? Yeah. We're going through a phase that everything he does is for a reaction. Like he just wants a reaction from us. No, don't hop in the sink. Hey, sorry, we have to turn it off because you're being silly. Aww. Yeah, what a shame. You want an honest vlog? This is what you asked for in Instagram. So I asked what kind of vlog you guys want to see and everyone said an honest nighttime routine. This is it. You have one more chance. Am I weak? I don't know. Am I too nice? I don't know. Am I too strict? I don't know. Can you do this? Yeah. You do that. Actually, let's just do veggies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we won't even do pasta or rice. We'll just do lots of veggies. But first, I need a clean space. I need a clean space to be creative. Take it. Hello, okay. No, don't be silly. You can have fun, but don't be silly, all right? Don't. See how you're making that all wet? You can pour it out in there, not up here. You have one more chance. You want an apple? Yeah. You want an apple. All right, come sit on the lounge. Let's see if I can actually make dinner now. Honestly, I can never pick what Fox is gonna like on TV. Peppa Pig, not really into it. Bluey, not really into it. But like this Spider-Man thing that I swear is for teenagers, he loves it. Like anything action, he loves, which I don't know how I feel about that. Today has been a really, really challenging day. Do you know what? I feel like I've maybe picked a good day to film this, like a very realistic day. Toddlers are very temperamental. Not just my own toddler, all my friends' toddlers are the same. Let me quickly show you what I've made. I made him this sticker chart two days ago and it worked for about two hours. We have going to the potty, brushing your teeth, tidying up and good behavior. Like I said, these lasted two hours. We did do some stickers today, but like I don't want to do the whole like go to timeout and like the negative punishment stuff. He doesn't care about the praise. Like he doesn't care about stickers. He doesn't care about chocolate. He doesn't care about like going places. He just like wants to do what he wants to do. It's He's such a toddler, classic toddler. If I was smart, I would have put these potatoes in the slow cooker like a few hours ago and made it go all soft and had like more like a musman curry. I didn't really pre-think about the slow cooker. It is honestly chicken stock, four beef, also uko, also bucos, vegan barbecue sauce, a carrot, onion, and that is it. I've always been a very productive person and I never really sit still, especially when you do become a mother, you never stop. So now I'm going to tackle this dining room because every night we sit at the dining table and have dinner together. So let's do one of the most therapeutic things to watch on YouTube, speed cleaning. Sorry, I interrupt the speed cleaning to show you how I fold up my paper bags. I learned it from Tanika and Tanika's mom taught her. It is life changing. It has made my pantry so much cleaner and tidier. I have to show you. This is a very rough candid vlog if you can't tell. I fold up the bottom, then I fold one side over, and the other side over, so it's in like a rectangle like that. And then I fold it up a few times, like so. And then you grab the handles and wrap it around so it's in this cute little parcel. And then I just store all of these in a little container, so whenever I need to go to the shops, I will grab these so they're all stuffed in there. Back to the speed cleaning. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Not gonna lie, what I'm about to do right now is probably a huge waste of time. We're still kind of going through this like sleep thing where he always wants to sleep in our room. And at the end of the day, all we want is to sleep. We want Fox to sleep, I wanna sleep, Kurt wants to sleep. While I would love if he slept in his own room and we had like this good routine going, we were so tired waking up every hour and putting him back to sleep and everything that we were like, let's just let him sleep in our room in the porta cot. So we started like putting him back in the room and going back and forth and everything. And I don't know, we had like moments of weakness and we just kept the porta cot up. By the way, I'm just like making his bed. I'll show you what the porta cot looks like right now. It's squished on the floor. My son has decided that when it's up, he likes to front flip into it. Like he runs, jumps and front flips into the porta cot. The first time I saw him do it, my heart like dropped to my stomach. I was like, I'm gonna have to take this kid to hospital. I think it's all toddlers. I don't know. Every time I say this, people are like, yes, mine too. But like, he's so psycho. He's such an adrenaline junkie. Hopefully try to put him in here tonight. I'm just making your bed ready. Are you gonna sleep in here tonight? Yeah. No, where are you gonna sleep? Oh, it's dripping, it's dripping. You can't bring food into your bed. Did you just throw an apple at the wall? Yeah. Go and pick it up. Come here. Oh. Yeah. What do you say? Sorry for throwing the apple. If you do. If you. Hey, are you going to be in a silly mood? You need to go and sit in the corner and calm down. Go and sit in the corner for one minute and go and calm down. Yeah, I've been craving it since you made it the other night. <laughs> well, send me a picture, please. Alright, bye. I feel like mums just know how to do desserts. I mean, I'm a mum. So this is me like knowing how to do desserts. It feels like when I was a child, every night we had this like home cooked chocolate pudding. Like the, one of those old school puddings. She made two the other night. One normal, one gluten free, dairy free that I could have. And she doesn't fully remember how she did it. She kind of just like mixed up the recipe. So I asked her if she could send me the recipe and I'm going to see if I have the stuff in my house because I want to surprise Kurt and make the chocolate pudding recipe because it's so good. It just reminds me of my childhood. It's so, so yummy. Fox has um, gotten all of the pieces of his puzzle and thrown it around the room. But it's like the time of the day that he just wants a reaction. So I'm just like busy, busy, busy. Look what I've got. It's from mm. our local grocery store. Oh, that's a peach and you're already eating it. Mm. Carilla. Honestly, he's done that to like seven apples today. I've got three boxes. Three? Oh yeah. All right, bring them in. Lockdown fruits. No, hang no, on, hang no, on, no, 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 no. We're not eating every single one. I'm getting back into my every week, getting a box from Carilla Grocer. It makes life so much easier. If you're local, you can order from them. One of the best parts is that she fills it with random stuff. So I kind of have to be different every night for dinner. If there's like eggplant or leek, I kind of have to like step outside my comfort zone. Woo! They also do like these homemade guacamoles. We've got apples, bananas, grapes. Goji berries, ooh, little chocolates. So it's kind of like a health food store as well. They have like a bunch of vegan chocolates. Not gonna lie, we usually eat dinner at this time, but today's been a bit Here busy. We go. <laughs> hey man. Today's been busier than normal. We're running around a bit today, I feel like. Yeah, and you just came from a photo shoot. And, and he's Your been- Your son you, has you been, been- Fun, joy, joyous, very joyous today. How you doing? Dying. I need to decide where Mine. each is gonna go. I like Palm Beach the best. Do you? Ooh, I like, actually, this I one's like, pretty sick. I like Ibiza and I like this one. Mine. What's in it? Like Photos Mine. of the place. Oh, how fun. Yeah, they're actually really, really cool. Book. But now's the time that I, give me a hand. High five. Tag team. Me. I'm out. You don't know what I'm making, do you? No idea. My only concern <laughs> with it is this is definitely the wrong dish, but I don't have said dish that I need. Oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> this is not right. My mom's gonna be watching this cringing. I kind of hate making this because there is no joke over two cups of sugar. That can't be right. It's like a cake and then dry mixture on top and then you pour hot water in it. I'm already disappointing myself. Yum, we got some carrots. Yum, this is literally actually gonna be so yum. I never thought I would use my double oven in like an everyday sense, but I honestly use it all the time. A lot of people ask like, why don't I have a microwave? I actually thought this was like an oven slash microwave. That's what they told me it was. But I think the girl who was like serving me at the place didn't really know what she was talking about or like was new because this is not a microwave. Like this is a combi steam oven. So it's a steamer slash oven, but it's really great. I've got the potatoes and the zucchini, the meat. 
and then some vine tomatoes, and then I've just got some baby spinach, and then some of the dip that we got from Carilla Grocer. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. This is like mum style, you know? Talking to myself here? Hey. Okay, this is like mum style. Oh yeah, this is true mum style. Mummies, daddies, bebes. Excited? Baby. Don't eat it yet, we need to say grace, okay? Hold hands. Are you saying grace? No. Yeah, you say grace, go. Thank you all for this meal and bless it onto our bodies okay. and bless those. Thank you mum, for mummy for preparing it for us. We pray that we have a good and amazing week for the rest of the week. In Jesus' name we pray this prayer. Amen. 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 Good boy. Mm. It's like sweet barbecue sort of flavored. Yes. We're going to eat and then we'll recommend with you a nighttime routine really kicks off. Okay, see you soon. Yeah. But and I didn't get the memo that the dip is actually a body moisturizer. What do you put on your arm? Yeah. It's so glowing and beautiful. Mm. It's that time of the night now where we go and have a shower. Oh, <laughs> Are we having ice cream first? Do you want to get ice cream with daddy? Let's go, quick, come on, come on, come on. Bye. Okay, let's go. What are we going to listen to? Ziggy. Ziggy? Yeah? Oh, good throw. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, come here, quick. Oh. I've got the like the biggest sweet tooth at the moment. I've been eating, Ew. like, I swear I'm addicted to sugar. Are we addicted to sugar right now? Yeah. Yeah, just a little Daddy. bit. Yes. You ready to go, man? What have we got? It's an ice cream. Who wanted to get this? Mummy. Mummy wanted you to get it. Did you do a good job? Yeah. Good job, good job. Okay, the boys have gone to get ice cream. It's time for a taste test. I must say, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look as like deep, like a deep dish pudding as I would like. It smells like my mom. Not my mom. My mom's house when she makes this. It's just, it's so sugary, but like, I'm so in the mood for that. We got ice cream. Does he have ice cream? Yeah, he can have a bit of ice cream. Okay. Just wasn't sure if we wanted to risk the sugar high. I should say that usually by now, Fox is showered and winding down. Yeah, we're gonna regret this. Okay? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, you only live once. Something so entertaining about kids, like watching kids eat sugar, sugary foods. They just love it, hey? Yeah. That or, or spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. <gasps> Do you love spaghetti? Cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Are you right? Is that good? Do your parents feed you? <laughs> so my name's Fox, I'm a grub. <laughs> Honestly, this child. Well, it's so weird because I don't know where he gets these weird things from. <laughs> <The slip. laughs> Yuck. He just touched the lens. No, you don't do that. <laughs> what happened? Her abby. No, Gosh. You were holding your bowl. Yeah. And what happened? It fell over your shoulder. Yeah. And it smashed. My question to you is, why was it on your shoulder in the first place? Ready? <laughs> if the glass fell and you didn't mean to, you say, it's okay, it's an accident. Uh, yeah. Accident, yeah. If you meant to throw it, then that's not nice. But if it just accidentally fell, well, it's okay. Yeah, it was an accident, wasn't it? Literally the best thing we did for our family, like I said before, was the double shower head. It is life changing. This is like the main part of the shower with the huge shower head. This is the best because we can wash your hair with it. So Kurt's usually here and Fox just roams around and plays with his toys. We've got some dinosaurs here. And then this is on my side. So I'm not really gonna film us having our family shower because that would Mommy, be, that would be only fans. You sure you don't wanna see that? Okay, we're having a shower, bye! Ah. Where do you think you're going? Before we shower, we must have a quick wrestle. <laughs> 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 it's all ice cream, it's gonna vomit. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my <laughs> goodness, the 360 jump! Oh. So this is honestly usually how it works. Hi, I don't know why I put the camera so low. I get ready to jump in the shower and then the boys, the boys join me like five minutes later. So I'm always done first and I try to get my skincare routine done while the boys are still in the shower because once Fox emerges, it's all hands on deck. It's funny because like he never wants to get in the shower and then once he's in, he never wants to get out. Then I'm gonna go in with my body butter. This is Butter Me Up in strawberry vanilla. This is the bicarb free pity party. This is currently in the bundle that I mentioned before. So you can get two of these and two of my smoochie balms and save $18. So I get a little pea size amount like that and then I split it in two and then I just massage it into my underarm. For good measure, let's also add my lip balm. This one is not the new one. This one is just strawberry vanilla because my new one is in the other bathroom. How did you get 
get up so easy? I'm the master. Are you cold, Fox? Then we get. Yep. How cold are you? It'll be cold, you be cold. You're very cold. Oh, you need manpower? Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Oi, did you call dry this afternoon and say happy birthday? Yeah. How did you say? Sing like on. Do you know you get to sleep in your big boy room tonight? No, it's not because it's wet. What do you mean it's wet? Turn around. You left his bottle on it. Oh. Or he left his bottle on it. Oh, sorry. my gosh. I just saw that then. Yeah. So I guess we're doing the porticot again in our room, which number one, kind of good because Fox sleeps better in there. We just found that he left his bottle, his drink bottle on his bed. And this is not a shadow. This is all soaking wet. Guys, I told you, it's like he's on drugs. You're the scat man. Yes! <laughs> please, please comment. Is anyone else's toddler like this? Is it just me? <laughs> this was one of the most crazy sugar highs we've ever had. Oh, don't do that. Do you want to explain what the next step of nighttime routine is? Next step's me laying in bed for about an hour while he goes to sleep. And then I come out and I'll probably clean this up. Sarah cooks, I, so I usually do the washing up. That's how it works. Does this mean we're bad parents? The fact that we like lay in our bed until he falls asleep? Like, no, you, my, my dad used to sing me to sleep every night. See, my, see, I come from a different family. My parents would go, good night, you're going to sleep. I can't do that to him. <laughs> I can't. me mate. Today was a really, really hard mum day. Like really hard. And lockdown is just like not great for anyone <laughs> he's like finding stimulation and fun from being destructive and i don't know what to do to combat that like i've set up painting i set up play-doh we go to the park because we're still allowed to go to the park kurt built him this tool bench because he loves working on tools and building like i don't know what else to do and i don't really think i want advice because like mum advice online on youtube is usually like quite passive aggressive and i don't think i could emotionally deal with that right now but do you know what I just remembered? I need to do a bunch of emails <sighs> because today, so today is Monday, which is like one of our busy work days. And my mum used to usually watch Fox on Mondays. So we have like our big Monday meetings. I do invoices. I pay my staff. Like I do all these important things. And I told myself tonight I would do it. <sighs> that means I have to work now. It's like eight o'clock and I probably have to work until like 10, which is fine. That's just kind of what comes with being like the CEO. Let's go up to the office. What's the time? It is 9.38 and I need to do some work. <laughs> How long was I in there for? Like an hour. hour. That whole time, he was trying to climb out of his bed. So now you're gonna work and I'm gonna sit here and chill. Yeah, we'll put something on here. We'll put the new show that you're into at the moment. Making the cut. Yeah. It's like the new version of Project Runway. I like it even. I know, and it's I so it. good. And it's like a really well-produced show. Yeah. I've had a really bad late nighttime routine. Like what just happened before has to happen. Like I'm a mum. Once he's asleep, that's when the real self-sabotage starts. So last night we opened opened up a family sized packet of like Brussels sprout chips. They're literally chips at like 11 p.m. or something. Yeah. Dumb, finish them. Ew, dumb. Ew, dumb, no. Then we got into bed at 11 and then scrolled on our phones for like half an hour. And do you know what? It's because we don't have any us time. It's so nice to have quiet. <laughs> it's so nice to have quiet that you just like bask in it oh. for like two hours. I'm gonna know? join this conversation because yeah. it's actually ridiculous ridiculous how tired I am right now. And it's so bad because like we have such late nights and such early mornings because Fox mm. wakes up at like the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> she said butt crack. You just want time to just like be a shell of a human. Yeah, honestly. I got a comment but... though the other day on my Instagram saying, easy for you to say when your life is so perfect and you just get to buy coffees and work out all day. I'm like, if only that were true. <laughs> if only that were true, Julia. But yeah, we're just gonna watch this. Honestly, I'm just going to wrap up the vlog here because I'm going to be here for an hour. I'm going to go to bed at 11.30. I'm going to go to bed at 11.30 and then I'm going to scroll on my phone and then... She's calling it. Wow. No, it's dumb. But I'm just... But you want a real nighttime routine? That's really what I'm probably going to do. If you like these kind of real segments of vlogs, like a section of my day, then please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like because my vlogs are always real. Like mm. real day in the lives. But I... Is your arm getting sore? Yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like my vlogs are always real, but I feel like that was like extra raw. And it's hard because when Fox plays up or when he's being like difficult, I don't like <laughs> to put it in vlogs for his sake and your sake and my sake. It's he just was, like- He was super tough tonight though. It's really hard to know what to show on YouTube to show that your life isn't perfect and it's not cookie cutter and like my toddler isn't the perfect toddler, but then you don't want to like overstep their boundaries and like show them having a tantrum and things like that. So it's like a fine line of like showing, yeah, I'm just like you guys, you know what I mean? Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up because I'm definitely keen to do more of them. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. Anyway, I'm tired. I can't. Okay. I love you. Do some sleepy, sleepy goodbyes. Love you. Okay. Um. I'm still awake. <laughs> <laughs>